नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भारद्वाज आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ अगस्त ना इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस ऑब्जर्व रेनफॉल फॉर पास ट्वेंटी फोर आवर यू कैन सी दैट द वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल वेरी हैवी टू एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल आर बीन रिपोर्टेड ओवर मैनी स्टेशन ओवर त्रिपुरा एंड ओवर आसाम एंड मेघालय स्पेसिफिकली मेघालय स्टेशन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल that that has been observed over jammu and kashmir uttarakhand east rajasthan regions isolated locations some of the station reported jharkhand telangana and rail sima and in yellow color you can see that isolated heavy rainfall occur over many parts of uh, the southern, southern peninsula of india you can see these states and also uh, east madhya pradesh odisha and uh, if we talk about bihar and in our northwest of india punjab haryana and himachal pradesh region so if we talk about the station wise the extremely heavy rainfall amount which has been observed over tripura station where you can see that these are the district over these stations 38 uh, cm amount of rainfall over many parts of uh, tripura has been received and if we talk about the meghalaya where uh, over sora station 35 cm of amount rainfall has been received if we talk about uttarakhand where very heavy rainfall amount in the range of 19 cm and over telangana it is 17 cm rainfall has been observed since past 24 hour now if we talk about the monsoon trough current position you can see that the monsoon trough currently passes from ganganagar rohtak orai churuk and then to the malda and then to the center of the cyclonic circulation which is currently located at central part of the bangladesh and neighborhood areas now if you talk about the different cyclonic circulation so the cyclonic uh, the low pressure area which lies over central bangladesh and neighborhood areas it extend up to 7.6 km above mean sea level this low pressure area is persisted since last 3 days over Uh, in the morning over south bangladesh now it is slightly moved to the center part of the bangladesh and is extend up to 7.6 km above mean sea level you can see there is also a cyclonic circulation which is also persisted in yesterday over jharkhand region at lower tropospheric level and you can also see that there is a cyclonic circulation over west uttar pradesh and adjoining areas at lower tropospheric level there is also a cyclonic circulation over uh, Pakistan region which persists since yesterday at lower tropospheric level and you can also see that there is a feeble uh, western disturbance is also been seen at 70 and 32 degree north uh, and you can see if we go to the southern peninsula of india there is a cyclonic circulation over uh, uh, north tamil nadu and uh, adjoining south coastal andhra pradesh region at lower tropospheric level and there is also a cyclonic circulation you can see over south interior southeast arabian sea uh, this cyclonic circulation exists between 3.1 to 5.8 km above mean sea level which is tilting southward with height and you can also see there is a north south trough which is uh, passes persisted from yesterday and it is from off karnataka coast to maldive area so there are these are the system due to these system uh, the different highlights for today has been Uh, shown here in a brief you can see that low pressure area over central parts of Bang- bangladesh likely to cause isolated very heavy uh, heavy very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall over northeast of india uh, during next two days and isolated very heavy to very uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over kerala tamil nadu and lakshadweep area during next two days so these are the highlights but uh, if we show these in the multi hazard map so imd is providing 7 days multi hazard map warning and here we are showing here 3 days you can see that different colors are been assigned for warning alert watches and no warning you can see that red color warning is been issued for uh, northeast of india for 2 days you can see that assam and meghalaya for day 1 and nmmt region specifically uh, tripura and manipur region where the extremely heavy rainfall can occur for day 1 and the very heavy rainfall warning for day 1 has been assigned for uttar pradesh uh, uttarakhand regions isolated location very heavy rainfall can occur between 11 to 20 cm rainfall amount and over the kerala region where the very heavy rainfall can occur over uh, isolated location over kerala 
and in yellow color as you can see that isolated location where uh, heavy rainfall can occur is been covering most part of the central india southern peninsula of india you can see that indo gadgetic plain and the uh, 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 north uh, north regions including jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh punjab and haryana and you can see here this uh, eastern part so SHWB region Arunachal Pradesh for day one heavy rainfall warning has been issued. Now this warning will continue for day two also as uh, as I mentioned due to the presence of the low pressure system uh, the extremely heavy rainfall can occur over uh, for day two NMMT region the red warning alert has been issued for NMMT specifically for Tripura and adjoining areas and also the very heavy rainfall warning has been issued for Assam and Meghalaya specifically uh, Meghalaya regions where the very heavy rainfall occur for day two. And over Kerala, you can see that the uh, very heavy rainfall warning has been continued for day two also. And in yellow color, you can see that these are the location met subdivision wise where isolated heavy rainfall can occur. For day three, if you go, there is a, a very heavy rainfall warning has been issued only for NMMT uh, met subdivision wise. And uh, other location you can northeast of India, heavy rainfall warning has been issued, including. Uh, uh, indo gadgetic plain uh, which covers Bihar and uh, West, uh, East Uttar Pradesh, uh, Jharkhand, Chhat uh, Chhattisgarh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, some locations, Uttarakhand, the warning will continue, and uh, East Rajasthan, isolated location, also the Konkan and Goa region, heavy rainfall warning has been issued for day three. Now, this warning will uh, uh, continue for uh, day four, day five, day six, and day seven which uh, for day day four and day five you can see that very heavy rainfall warning for mmt will continue even this warning will continue till day five where assam and Meghalaya and konkan Goa regions are also been included though for the heavy rainfall mostly the central part of the india and uh, uttarakhand and himachal pradesh region you can see here uh, the warning for heavy rainfall is continued for day six and day seven and northeast of india you can see that assam and Meghalaya are mostly been covered for with the heavy to very heavy rainfall till day seven so these are the warning for today and uh, you can get the updated and detailed information from the imd website you can follow us instagram and twitter that's all for today namaskar dhanyavad